This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the Premier Trade Market Wrap. This is the Market Wrap on a Friday. Jack Lott here on the James Dix Financial Network. Big economic day today. Non-farm payrolls released earlier, rising by 110,000 in September. Payroll growth in July and August was revised upward to 118,000. The unemployment rate up 4.7 percent. That's the highest in a year. The details of the report paint a picture of stronger job market than expected and could lead financial markets to lower their expectations for another interest rate cut by the Fed at the end of the month. Meantime, Donald Cohn, the vice chairman of the Federal Reserve Board, said that the Fed uh, half percentage point uh, rate cut in September may be enough to keep the economy from sinking from the financial market turmoil. Other economic news, the RBC cash index showed consumer confidence rising to 80.6 in early October. That was an improvement from September's reading of 71.1. Britain's Barclays PLC withdrew an $84 billion offer from ABM AMRO Holding NV, the largest attempted takeover in the history of the financial industry. State Street Corporation could be hit with lawsuits by investors, including attorneys general in Idaho and Alaska who are upset over the steep losses suffered during the credit market turmoil. In earnings news today, Merrill Lynch said credit and mortgage woes will lead, uh, lead it to post a third quarter loss of up to 50 cents a share after taking a roughly $5 billion write down. Research in Motion broke through the 10 million subscriber mark at the end of the second quarter. It's expected uh, the growth in accounts to accelerate as the company targets the consumer market. RIM earned $287.7 million, or 50 cents a share in the quarter. And Mutual, uh, Washington Mutual said that third quarter net income fell about 75% because of a weakening housing market and disruptions in the secondary market. It's going to be a big economic week next week. FOMC minutes are scheduled out. Wholesale inventories, the trade balance, import price index, the federal budget numbers, retail sales, producer price index, inventories, as well as consumer sentiment. Scheduled earnings reports next week. Well, Alcoa begins third quarter earnings season on Tuesday when they report their earnings after the closing bell. And General Electric reporting their earnings early Friday morning. Other earnings during the week includes Yum Brands, California Pizza Kitchen, Host Marriott, Ruby Tuesday, Safeway, PepsiCo, as well as Winnebago. Some stocks in the news. Sprint Nextel actively seeking a successor for its CEO Gary Forsey. Lawson Software reporting a fiscal first quarter profit of $5.6 million, or three cents a share. And U.S. Airways September traffic rising 2.3 percent to 4.69 billion revenue passenger miles from a year ago. And that's the market wrap on this Friday. Jack Lott on the James Dix Financial Network.